it is the end of the year, so you know what that means. I really love making these yearly favorites videos because it's just cool to reflect on things that I've been loving over the past year. And I actually keep a running list of products that I have loved throughout the year. And then at the end of the year, I revisit that list and narrow it down to the best of the best. I have a lot of stuff to cover, so let's get into it. I used the Kerastase Volume in Powder Spray so much over this last year. It was definitely an amazing volumizing hair product. This container is actually completely empty. I love how this product smelled. It really added texture, grit, and volume to my hair, and I'm obsessed with it. 2017 was the year that I was on a quest for the perfect wave spray, and I definitely found it in the form of the Way wave spray. And you can see that I've used a ton of this product. I absolutely love it for bringing out my natural waves. So sometimes, I will just spray this in my hair after I've washed it and let it air dry and then other times I'll braid my hair with this in it and I love how this has hold to it. It doesn't make my hair feel hard or crunchy. It's still really flexible plus it smells really good. It is no secret that I love the fresh body lotions. I will never stop using them but I kind of hit the pause button a little bit this year to use this. And I have to say that this is definitely one of the best body products I've ever used, especially if you're somebody that doesn't like super scented things. This is the H2O Beauty Milk Body Butter. It's so hydrating, it's not greasy, it has a really lovely, light, fresh scent to it, and I feel like it's something that most people would really like. But this product is really just a pleasure to use, and it feels so good on my skin. I am someone who is always looking out for the best natural deodorant. This year, I've fallen in love with the Schmitz Bergamot and Lime Natural Deodorant. I actually discovered recently that you can get this at Target, so I'm really happy happy about that because I was ordering it online before and it was a lot harder to get it that way. I love this natural deodorant because I find that it's one of the only natural deodorants that really helps with odor and wetness. And usually you have to choose one or the other, but I think so far out of everything that I've tried, this is the one that does the best job with both of those things. So this is the Simple Water Boost Micellar Cleansing Water. You guys know that I love the original micellar water. I love the wipes. I love the moisturizer. I pretty much love everything that Simple comes out with. And I have really just been liking this because I found that my skin has just felt a little bit drier and this does the same thing as the original micellar water. So it's really good at cleansing my skin, getting off any like residue that's on my skin, any leftover makeup, but it's a little bit more hydrating without feeling greasy. I am absolutely crazy about fully removing my makeup. This is something that I never ever skip, no matter how late I'm getting home, no matter how tired I am, I always remove my makeup. My favorite makeup remover this year has been the Tatcha Pure One Step Camellia Cleansing Oil. It breaks down all of your makeup, including waterproof makeup, I love the packaging because there's a pump here. You can see that mine's a little bit dirty because I use it. Oh, there's hair on it. Look at that. Lovely. It has a pump that locks, so it's extra secure. And the product inside is just so amazing to use. It doesn't leave your skin feeling greasy. It immediately melts down the makeup on your face and it rinses off completely clean. Another thing from Tatcha that I have really loved is the essence. And I've really learned over the last couple years, especially how important it is to use an essence in your skincare routine. Using an essence helps to plump up your skin. So that way the products that you use after will be more effective. My favorite moisturizer this year has definitely been the Make Prem Safe Me Relief Moisture Cream. This one is completely gone. I have scraped the container because I love this moisturizer. It only has 12 ingredients in it. It's not super expensive. I think it's great for so many different skin types 
and it's one of the only moisturizers that I would recommend for both day and night use. For serums, the first thing I definitely have to talk about is the Glossier Super Pure. This is a niacinamide and zinc serum. I find that this really helps with redness, with my breakouts, and when I do start breaking out, this just gets to them immediately and helps soothe and heal them. Another serum that has definitely entered holy grail territory for me is the Bare Minerals Eternal Elixir Skin Volume volumizing oil serum. I'm obsessed with this. You can see that there's only a little bit left of this product. It has a really lovely bright citrusy scent to it and this is another product that I would say is amazing to use both day and night. So it's great for people who want a more minimal skincare routine in terms of the amount of products that they have because I have mixed this with my makeup. I have put it on during the day when I'm not wearing makeup. I've used it as my face oil at nighttime and it's absolutely incredible. It is so hydrating. It doesn't leave your skin feeling greasy. It just gives you the most beautiful glow. And when you use this consistently over time, you really start to notice a huge difference in your skin. For sunscreen, I have loved the Tatcha Pore Perfecting Sunscreen SPF 35. And I really like this because it does have a physical sunscreen in it. So when I have wanted to wear a physical sunscreen, this has been a great option. I also find that it's very hydrating as well and really great to use underneath makeup. For a sunscreen that has more of a gel lotion consistency that goes on completely clear, I'm all about Make Prem. This is the UV Defense Me Blu-ray Sun Gel with SPF 50. I also love the one that has the orange cap and that one is like a true gel consistency. These are amazing if you want something that's going to sit on your skin and be completely invisible because with physical sunscreens there usually is a little bit of a white cast that's left behind and that's just unavoidable because of the minerals that are being used but this does not have that. I love how hydrating this sunscreen is because a lot of times sunscreens can be drying on your skin and I love how this makes my complexion super glowy. For face masks, my favorite deep cleansing face mask has definitely been the Fresh Umbrian Clay Purifying Mask. Whenever I feel like my skin is just congested, I reach for this mask. It's really creamy and I just feel like there really isn't anything else that cleanses my skin quite as well. For breakouts, the mask that I have been reaching for this year is definitely the Yves Lam Rescue Mask, which I discovered through a viewer that works at Space NK. She recommended this mask and I tried out a little sample of it, became obsessed, and then went and bought the full size. It definitely has a strong camphor scent to it, but it is so amazing at helping to heal and soothe breakouts. All right, you guys know what this is. It is the Glow Recipe Watermelon Glow Sleeping Mask, and this is the mask for me of the year. Like if I had to choose one mask that I would choose over all of the other ones, it would definitely be this. It smells just like real watermelon and you can use this as like a 20 minute mask or you can go to sleep with this on your face and wash it off in the morning. I really love using this as an overnight mask because I think that you really see the best results that way. So this is the last thing that I'll apply on my face at night. I'll put a nice even layer all over my face, wait for it to dry a little bit, and then I'll go to sleep. And when I wake up in the morning and wash the mask off, my skin just feels super clear, really bright, really soft and smooth. Any redness that I've had on my face is soothed and it's also really hydrating as well. For lip balm, I have loved the Nukes Rev de Miel lip balm. After hearing Estee rave about this lip balm for so long, I was finally able to find a pot of this when I was traveling. It's a really thick lip balm that doesn't have a shiny finish when you put this on your lips. It tastes like honey and citrus, which I really love, and I especially love using this at night. I really haven't worn foundation that much this year and it's because I have just preferred bare skin, tinted moisturizer, or 
a skin tint. This is actually a product that took me a little bit of time to really fall in love with, but now I am all about it. It is the Glossier Skin Tint, and I wear the shade Media. When I first got this, I wasn't really sold on it because I just hadn't really used anything like this before. I love how this makes my complexion look, but it is not like a tinted moisturizer at all. So this isn't going to be providing moisture. It also does not provide the same amount of coverage as a tinted moisturizer. This is like barely their coverage. For example, if I have blackheads on my nose, this will just kind of blur them out a little bit. For setting powder, I have loved the Bare Minerals Matte Powder that comes in this duo. I have used quite a bit of this as just a finishing powder on my skin. It doesn't leave any kind of white cast on my face and it's just really lovely to use. For concealer, I'm all about the RMS Uncover Up. This is one of those amazing use it all over your face products. It's also really hydrating, which I love because I love using this underneath my eyes, around my nose, on any kind of blemishes that I might have, and it just works so well and blends really naturally into my skin. For a highlighter, I have been loving the Becca Shimmering Skin Perfector in Opal. I pretty much always stuck to the pressed version of Opal, but this year I've really loved the cream slash liquid Opal highlighter, and I've loved wearing it on my cheekbones, all over my face sometimes. It's just so beautiful. This is my new favorite brow pencil. It is by Surratt, and I wear this shade Raven, and this is definitely the best brow pencil I have ever used. I love how precise I can be with this pencil, and I love the brush on the end. It helps diffuse the product into my brows and helps it blend in more, and I think that this this is just an outstanding brow product. For brow gel, I have used a ton of Glossier's Boy Brow, and initially this wasn't something that I was like over the moon about, and I still don't think it's anything like crazy exceptional, but I'm including it in my favorites video because it's the thing that I've reached for the most. And that says something within itself. I have really enjoyed using this product, especially as I've grown my brows out more. I feel like the product and the brush are just perfect for combing out my brows, for adding a little bit of volume, and also a little bit of color as well. For eyeliner, oh my gosh, this is the best pencil eyeliner that I have ever used up until this point. It is the Smashbox Always On Gel Liner in Fishnet. This is the only pencil liner that I've ever used that absolutely does not budge when I put this on my waterline or the upper inner rims of my eyes. I love the rich black color. It's really smooth and creamy, and like its name, it's always on. For blush, we have an hourglass palette, folks. Oh yes, we do. It is the Ambient Lighting Edit Palette, and I have especially loved these two colors right here. I'm wearing a mix of them on my face today. So this one is more of a natural blush color, and then this one is like a peachy pink. And I love them individually, but I love them mixed together too. For cream blushes, I've loved the Glossier Cloud Paints. If I had to choose one Glossier makeup product as my favorite, it would definitely be the Cloud Paints. I think these are so incredible. They are really pigmented. They blend into your skin beautifully, and they have a great color selection that can be mixed together in so many different ways. So my two favorites are Beam and Puff. Beam is the peachy color, and then Puff is the baby pink. I love these on their own, but I really love them mixed together, and sometimes I'll make it a little bit more on the pink side, sometimes I want things more on the peachy side. I also have the other two cloud paint colors that they make, and they are just so good. They look so natural on your skin, and I love how easy they are to use, because you can just use your fingers to apply them. My favorite eyeshadow palette this year has definitely been the Tartlet In Bloom palette. I've loved using this palette not only because of the great selection of neutral colors, but because it's perfect for traveling. My favorite lip products this year have definitely been the Too Faced Sweet Peach Creamy Peach Oil Lip Glosses. I 
love these. They taste amazing because they taste just like peach and I love the consistency. They are really hydrating oil lip glosses, which I know sound kind of weird at first. They melt into your skin and they also have an incredible color payoff. So this one in particular, Papa Don't Peach, has been my go-to. I keep this in my bag when I want a little bit of color on my lips that still looks natural. Another shade that I have really loved, this was more so in like the summer, it's Poppin' Peach. And this is a true peach color. When you put this on your lips, it just brightens up your complexion instantly and makes me think summer. Now I'm still wearing Jo Malone Peony and Blush Suede. I don't think I will ever stop wearing that fragrance, but I have to give this an honorable mention because it is a big deal for me to wear another fragrance that is not Peony and Blush Suede. And it's also a fragrance by Jo Malone. This is the Star Magnolia clone that I have really loved wearing when I just wanna wear something a little bit different from Peony and Blush Suede. I actually wore this a lot over the summer and it's such a beautiful light floral fragrance that sits really nicely on my skin, which makes me so excited because that's definitely not the case for most fragrances and I love it. It's so hard to get me away from Peony and Blush Suede. I definitely have enjoyed wearing this perfume. I think it's really light and lovely. Okay, so that is going to be it for my 2017 beauty favorites. I hope you guys enjoyed seeing what I have been loving this year. If you have any questions for me, please leave them down below in the comments. Before I go, I wanna tell you guys about something that I was a part of that is really cool. I got to be a part of a VR animated film called Asteroids. I am the voice of the character Peas, which is like the little dog helper character. It takes place on a spaceship and the spaceship gets attacked by these space bugs and you're going through an asteroid storm and there's tons of stuff happening and they need your help. So you should go and watch and be a part of the story. I'll have a link down below for you guys if you wanna watch. And it's totally free, so I hope you guys enjoy it. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel because I have lots of videos coming your way in 2018. I'll see you guys soon, bye.